I want to talk to you today about honor, the word honor, what it means to honor yourself and to honor your word. You know, I, I never, I know, I don't really like to do business with people that, that cheat on their, their wives. You know, I was in law enforcement and I was in the military and did a lot of gung ho type jobs. And I used to work with a lot of guys that would want to go in business with me. And some of these guys, they would cheat on their wives. And I used to think, I'm like, I don't want to go into business with somebody like that. Not that I'm judging them. It's just that if they don't honor their commitment to their wife, how are they going to they're going to honor their commitment to me as a as a business associate? And I would just encourage you that whatever you say, mean it and follow through. Follow through what you say you're going to do. And it's so rare. It's so rare nowadays for people to say what they mean and mean what they say. Um, you know, at times I'm stuck in a situation where I have to do business with certain people and they'll call me and they're like, they'll ask me the same question again. And it really aggravates me because I've known these people for a long time and I've, I've always honored my word. And yet, because of the fact that they do with they deal with a lot of people that 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 flake out and don't keep their word they think I'm they throw me in that boat and I have to stop them I say listen I don't know who you deal with but when I say something I mean it honor your word to your own detriment in other words do not deviate from keeping your word if you say you're going to do your do something and if you commit something to yourself, honor it. You're the only one that knows. You can, you're the only one that can keep yourself accountable, even if it hurts. Credit is a form of honor. Leases are a form of honor. Contracts are a form of honor. These are precautions that we take in 2020 that says, hey, um, we had an agreement and you said you're going to do A, B, and C and the other person can't say, um, I don't remember, I didn't understand. I do a lot of traveling. I've been to Egypt. I've been to Africa. I've been to uh, Israel. I've been to a lot of places and a lot of times I'll, I'll speak to them in their native language, sometimes usually Spanish and English. And they'll say, I didn't understand. I don't speak English that well, you know, and they're not honoring their word. They want to do the bait and switch. And I know the game. I know the game. So you have to realize that you're going to be dealing with people that, that don't honor. Uh, remember that you are a, you're a coffee bean. You're a thermostat. You're not a thermometer. You set the temperature of the room. So let me tell you about the coffee bean, the egg, and the carrot. If you put a carrot in boiling water, it's gonna, it's gonna get soft. It's gonna disintegrate. If you put an egg in boiling water, it's gonna get hard. It's gonna change. It's gonna get stiff. It's gonna get pissed off. It's gonna, be, it's gonna become, it's gonna change. Now, if you put a coffee bean inside of boiling water, nothing's gonna happen. Not only that, it's going to change the water. It's going to change its environment to make it look like itself. Even though people don't honor their word, you honor your word, always. That's why I'm very, very careful what I say. And I give people a lot of no's. I get people that ask me they want to go in business with me over the years. A lot of no's. You got to say, learn to say no. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not obligated. No, you've got to, you've got to earn your right to be a partner. You don't go into partnership with anybody unless they're giving up something. You don't give a service that you're good at for free. Why? Why? The reason why 
is because people don't value what they don't pay for. You will not value what you don't pay for, what you don't pay a price for. You have to understand that. You have to understand the way the world works. Remember that you have to influence your environment. You cannot be influenced by your environment. You affect the change. So remember, keep your word. Honor your commitment. Mean what you say. Follow through. These are all principles of honor. Principles of success that you want for your life. Principles of men of integrity. As men, we're supposed to be leaders. There's too much weakness. There's too many lady boys in our society. People afraid to stand up, afraid to argue. They're not willing to say this is wrong. This shouldn't be done this way. I don't accept this. It's called passive compliance, okay? And let me, let me give you an example of, of passive compliance. Let's say I explain something to you and you're listening to what I'm saying and you say, okay. If you say, okay, that means you heard what I said, okay? A lot of people will misinterpret that as an agreement, that I'm agreeing with you. That's not what it is. So that's passive compliance. You have to, you have to be able to say, no, I don't agree with you, but I'm listening to what you're saying just you know, to work on your communication skills. Communication skills are always, always, always being worked on. I'm always working on my communication skills because people say, um, I didn't understand what you meant. I thought you agreed with me when, they, when, when, you, when I didn't agree with them. It's very important. It's very important that you understand that you don't want to get, if you're a boss, you don't want to get into a situation and say, hey, oh, I talked to Doug. Yeah, he's okay with it. And now they're going to go ahead and carry out something that you never agreed to. So you have to understand that passive compliance can can be misconstrued if you're listening to someone and, they, and, and you say, okay, you have to make sure you, you say, okay, well, no, I, I hear what you're saying. I don't agree with you, but continue. I'm listening to what you're saying. It's very, very important. It's critical. Communication skills is one of the keys to influencing people because people want to feel important. People like, I always, I always repeat, I, when I, when I learn somebody's name, I always, re, and I'm trying to uh, get their cooperation, I always repeat their names back. And I'll say, okay, Lisa, listen, Lisa, let me just tell you, and I'll, at least I'd love to take you out for a cup of coffee. Here's my card. Give me a call. Nice meeting you, Lisa. Have a great day. You want to repeat her name. Why? Because most people are egocentric and that's just the way it is. They like the sound of their own own name. It happens on a subconscious level. So realize that. Realize that. Understand that. Be a man or woman of integrity. Be a man of, or woman that, that means what they say and says what they mean. It's so rare. It's rare. If you can do that, if you can do that simple thing, You'll be on your way to becoming wealthier and wealthier, more rich and more rich. Always, always understand that, okay? So uh, honor, honor, show honor. Show honor in your life. Show honor to yourself. Keep working on yourself. Keep moving forward. Keep staying positive. This is coming. going to be 2021 is coming up. It's going to be better. Things are looking up. And it's time to move forward. We're going to get through this all together. We're going to get through this COVID-19. It's going to be behind us soon. The vaccines are coming out. Better days are yet to come. Your best is yet to come. Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching.